Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah and today I'm going to show you my November bullet journal spread. I'll start off by showing you my October spread. If you haven't seen my October uh, bullet journal video yet, I've added all of my bullet journals into a playlist and I've added that in the description box below. This layout has been really functional and I particularly like the circle layout, so I think I may use that again. But on to November. This month I'm doing both a highly requested series as well as another one of my personal favorites, Nana. If you haven't heard of Nana, then it's time to get out from under that rock you've been living under and dive into a series that has all the feels. This story is essentially about Nana O, oh, a badass punk rock babe and lead singer of Blast, who meets Nana K, a bubbly, hopeless romantic, on their train ride to Tokyo. They later move in together, and the story develops from there. This series has some of my absolute favorite character development of all time. Just an FYI though, this series isn't complete, and the anime is amazing, but it does end sooner than the manga does, so I suggest reading the books first. Honestly, there is so much I could say about this series. It got me through high school. I rewatched it again when I moved out on my own. It's just one of those ones that just kind of sticks with you forever. So as much as I do want to say about this series, it really does speak for itself. For my calendar and month at a glance pages, I've stuck with my more traditional layout and I've added a few cutouts from the manga. The first is a cute little calendar for November 2001 that Nana K made. The second is a cell phone and I took the opportunity to use that cell phone screen to write out my quote from the series, which is my affirmation for this month, and that is, people are only what they think of themselves. So I think that's a real great note to self. The pages following those are my habit tracker and my financial tracker. For my habit tracker this month, I wanted to try out separating my lifestyle habits from my content creation habits. So I made a separate space for each of them. So I've just used cutout of Nana O and Nana K in the bath and just kind of drew little bubbles and I decorated this with money symbols and I honestly don't know why, but you know, couldn't go back once I started, couldn't go back. Kiwi decided this would be the ideal time to lay on my book and after trying to, you know, be a team player and work with her so we could both use the table, she actually had the nerve to try and bite me because apparently she doesn't like to share. Thankfully, week one's spread makes me much happier. In the beginning of their relationship, Nana K buys both her and Nana O some strawberry glasses for their new apartment. These same glasses end up carrying a significant amount of meaning as the story progresses, and I also added the key and the door number for the apartment. The apartment, again, itself, a lot of meaning. And there's actually so much meaning in so many parts of this series. Anyways. Week two is the image of the Ren flower Nana O oh has tattooed on her arm. Ren, another one of the main characters, happens to be the love of Nana O's oh life, and maybe also mine. Also added two caption panels from the manga that says, please don't grow up to be one of those people who thinks love has to be perfect. Don't grow up to be such a sad adult. And I think even just the last part of that is good for everyone to remember, just don't grow up to be a sad adult. Just don't. It's hard, but it's something you gotta work on day to day. Week three, so I stuck with the standard horizontal layout to keep it pretty simple, and I added a little cutout of Nana O oh and Nana K drinking. I took another opportunity to work on my drawing skills and I drew out some seven brand cigarettes and a joint because this wouldn't be Nana without sex, drugs, and punk rock. Week four, however, I did want to change things up a bit. I added in the dose of punk rock with a panel of Nana's band, Blast. The bald guy, his name is Yasu, and he is my personal favorite. I saw this layout style all over Pinterest and Tumblr, so I really wanted to give it a try. Alternatively, I did notice that people were adding little water trackers to each of these sections below the headers, and I actually thought that would be a really great idea. For week five, I wanted to give my reference drawing another shot, and I drew out the character Ren, and I'm beyond thrilled with how it turned out. 
Didn't think I'd end up being this good at drawing. Pretty proud of myself. Pretty proud. Doesn't look like shit. Could have looked like it, but it doesn't. Aside from just adding the last couple of days onto these pages, I've also added a large section for a brain dump. A brain dump is basically just an assorted note section where you can just write all your random gibberish that you think of. I've also added my goals section and my social media record section, but this time I've also added a small box for YouTube content because I needed a place for me to be able to write down notes regarding my YouTube videos for the week. On the flip side, I added a reference drawing of Nana O, oh, and looking back, I wish I had done one for Nana K as well, because she's also the main character, but whatever. Nana O oh turned out incredibly. I also saw this sparkly scrapbooking paper at Michael's craft store, and I immediately knew I wanted to use it for her leopard print coat, so I've cut out a little piece of that and glued it in. This page is going to be just my monthly review page. I wanted a big section because I have a lot that I need to get out at the end of each month. To the right of that, I'm adding a time tracker. Now, since I don't have a completed time tracker, I suggest you check Pinterest for ideas, but a time tracker is essentially a system that uses blocks to visually represent how you spend your time each day. I feel like there aren't enough hours in a day for me to get everything done and efficiently, so hopefully with this tracker, I'll be able to figure out where all of my lost time goes. I'm looking forward to kind of seeing how this turns out and showing it to you guys next month. For the next and final spread, I've added a page from the manga. Throughout this series, Nana K has monologues as if she's writing a letter to Nana O. Oh. They are all really beautiful for the most part, but this is one of my favorites. I'm not going to read it just because it is so long, but I did add a frame for you to pause if you'd like to read it yourself. Now the page parallel to that is my last page in this month's spread, and this is yet another review page because I think it's very important to reflect on your actions constantly. I found that while tracking my spending habits has been very helpful, I haven't really found a way to reflect upon them. So a friend of mine, Alori, from my Plant Buddies Facebook group showed me her financial review pie chart. So she breaks everything down into categories and then puts them into the pie chart to show their values. And it gives a much better visual representation of where your money's going exactly. And I really, really hope this gives me more insight because I am bad with money. And there we have it, my November bullet journal spread. I had so much fun making this one and I absolutely love how much you guys recommended it. It is an amazing series. Again, I do recommend everyone goes and checks it out. If you have any recommendations for me, please leave them in the comments below. I have seen so many great animes and read so many good mangas because of you guys and I truly appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. I'm almost to 5,000 subscribers and it's a little hard to believe, but I am so excited to get there. I'm going to be putting out a lot more content and I cannot wait to show you guys. As always, thanks for watching and stay hydrated.